My name is Isabel from Pueblo Science. I'm currently a grade 11 student and I'm planning on studying medicine in university. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to grow gummy bears. In this video, we will be discussing the concept called osmosis and how it works in this experiment and how it can be seen in everyday life. The supplies needed for this experiment are three cups for water, salt, gummy bears, and vinegar. The next step is to add one tablespoon of salt into one cup and one tablespoon of vinegar into the other cup. Now we are going to add water into each cup. We're going to use three gummy bears. I'm going to use the yellow one for the salt, the red for the water, and the green for the vinegar. This is what the gummy bears look like before we add them into the water. Now that I just put a gummy bear into each cup, we're going to wait overnight and see what happens to the gummy bears. See you in the morning. It is now the next day and it's time to see what happened to our gummy bears. As you can see, all of the gummy bears have grown much larger. The largest gummy bear is the one that was put in vinegar. The second largest is the one that was put in water and the smallest is the one that was put into salt. Something that I noticed from the gummy bears is that they feel much softer, like jello compared to the older ones that are harder. Now I'm going to answer the question of today's video as to why did the gummy bears grow? Gummy bears are made out of a substance called gelatin. Gelatin can also be found in sweets like marshmallows and jello. The gelatin in the gummy bear acts like a barrier which stops the sugar in the gummy bears from dissolving into the water. In this experiment, think of the gummy bears as a sponge. Like sponges, the gummy bears absorbed the water, which made them grow larger. They also grew larger through the process called osmosis. Osmosis is the ability for water to seep through a semi-permeable membrane. A semi-permeable membrane allows non-charged particles, like water, through it, but don't let larger particles, like sugar, out of it. Water moves from a higher concentration to a lower concentration of water. The gummy bear grew the most in the vinegar because the acid from the vinegar was able to break down the gelatin wall, which allowed for more water to seep through into the gummy bear. The gummy bear grew the least in the salt water because salt causes the water to move from a place of high concentration to low concentration. Think of when you've been in a pool or a bathtub for a long period of time. Your hands usually start to prune up like this. This is an everyday example of osmosis. Thanks for watching. Feel free to tag us with your experiment results at Pueblo Science. And don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and TikTok, all at Pueblo Science. Bye!